War. War never changes. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. It's my turn to use the power armor. Shut up. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. I love you too, my little ice queen. But seriously, we should talk about this. Your feet touched me last night, and I thought I was sleeping with death herself. Uh, honey? Are, are you seeing this? Is, is it, or is it just me? But my face looks different in the mirror. I, I don't know what's going on. Do you see this? Because I'm starting to kind of freak out. This is really weird. Holy shit, it changed again. And again. Uh, honey, I think our mirror's haunted. Remember, I got my eye on you. Ah! Ooh, this one doesn't look so bad. But it doesn't really matter, our mirror's haunted, we gotta get the hell out of here. Grab Sean, let's go. Good morning, vault -Tec calling. Yeah, uh-huh, I'm sure that's really important, but gotta go, house is haunted, good luck, Cosworth. Whoa, hey everybody, what's going on? You're all kinda acting crazy. Like maybe your mirrors are haunted or something. <laughs> now that would just be too weird. Uh, actually, that'd be incredible. Like, the odds of that would be, what, 3,720 to 1? Let's all run into the forest and hide from the ghosts. That is exactly how this all works out in horror movies. Oh. Yeah, now things make a little more sense. Yeah, Mirror Ghost doesn't seem to be nearly as scary now. And also explains why you were all running. Huh. All right, you three. 
follow me. <laughs> oh man, we just got so lucky. I'm really glad that See? the guy at the gate didn't have any names on that clipboard and was just looking for oh, one adult know. male, one adult this female, one and one infant. Facility. Because if they were looking for names, we would have been screwed. <laughs> Just a few minutes. Not really sure that that's safe to have the oxygen control within arm's reach. Somebody might just mess with it. Not pointing any fingers, vault tech staff guy. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Whoa! This vault suit's magical. It just showed up on me. I didn't have to do anything. All of a sudden, whoop. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Uh, just I was in the military. This isn't a decompression chamber. Secure. I'm starting to not trust you anymore, Doc. I mean, you've got that lab coat on, and by definition, that means I should be able to trust you, but I'm not doubting your qualifications to even wear that thing. Alright, I'm just letting you know that I think that you are not giving me the whole truth anymore. Oh, wow. I have not slept that well since my mom used to give me whiskey to shut me up. Oh, wait. Wait, am I actually awake? I don't think I am. I can't move my arms or legs, and that's usually a, usually a thing in my dreams. Huh. But I am still in the chamber. I guess that makes sense. I, I would dream about it. I didn't like it. So I guess I'd dream about being in here. But who's... I mean, I recognize my family. But who's the one in white? And who's that bald guy? Oh, the one in white's probably that... supposed to represent that doctor, that lying bastard. And look, trying to mess with my family. Soon I'm gonna come out there and help and save the day and everything will be just fine. Wait, that's not something I dream about. I don't dream about murdering my family. I dream about murdering my neighbors. I hate those guys. They're so uptight and like, oh, aren't we just the most special people? This is a really weird dream, and I really hate this chamber even more now. Not only is it not a decontamination chamber, it gives me nightmares. This sucks. <coughs> oh, God. Finally. Finally, I'm out of that stupid freezer. That wasn't decompression chamber, my ass. Oh, every part of me hurts. We are gonna have a long talk, Doctor. Oh my god. That... That was all real. They... They really came and took our son and, and murdered you. And, and I couldn't do anything. Oh god, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna kill them all. And I'm gonna get back our son. I love you. My ice queen. Well, now that everyone's dead, I suppose I should really start thinking about how to get the hell out of here, cause I- OH MY GOD, WHAT WAS THAT?! Oh, I hope this conveniently placed security baton can actually deal with whatever the hell that was. Oh. Uh, please don't be a giant bug behind the door. <sighs> okay, cool. Wait, there's one. Okay, we're gonna sneak up on it. It doesn't see us just yet. We just gotta be very quiet. Press R1 to attack. Why, thank you, strange voice in my head. I'll give that a shot. Ha! Take that, giant bug. Ooh, rad roach meat. That sounds delicious. And totally healthy. Hmm, what is this tape? Ooh, Red Menace. Looks like a video game. Awesome! I haven't played a video game in forever. And really, who's gonna stop me right now? Like, one of those bugs? Pfft, <laughs> yeah, right. You know, this game feels really familiar. Like, I've played a game like it before. Huh. Wonder... Uh... Stupid game. Press L1 to block. Why would I- OH GOD! <sighs> gotcha. And got you! Stupid bug. 
Oh. Whoa. Hey. Hey, buddy. You all right? Whoa. No, they can fly? No, no, die. Huh. Duh. Oh, hello, doctor. I've got some words for you. Though I don't think you're gonna... Ooh. What's this? Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Overseer's Terminal. I wonder what kind of games he has. Oh, yeah. Open the evacuation tunnel. That's actually probably a better thing. I do need to get out of here, don't I? Ooh. I'll come back for you later. Alright, bugs. Now I've got a gun. So I'm gonna... Oh my god, that's... Oh my god, that's a lot of bugs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope, back. Ow. Ha <laughs> Gotcha. No. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Gaha. There we go. Wow, you're even bigger than the other ones. Ha <laughs> ha. No. What? Why is it harder to hit you with a gun than it is with a stick? Ah. Ha. Ha. Oh. Ha. Don't worry about it. Huh! Gotcha. Oh my god, it pushed the body! Did you see that? <sighs> hey, Doc. You know, you're probably not gonna be needing this pit boy anymore, are ya? Yep, I think I'll just, uh, take that off your hands. <laughs> oh god, it's, it's still... Wait, why is this still warm? How... Oh, it's... Oh, I can feel the... Oh, I can feel the blood. It's squishy. Oh, oh, this is so gross. Why? Why did I do this? I, I, I can't need it this much, right? This isn't that important, is it? Ah, uh, gross. All right, time to get the hell out of here. Let's open this door and let's go. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Let's go. Let's go! Oh my god, I'm gonna die of boredom watching this door try to open. Oh, for the love of god, come on. Go, go faster. Just go faster. Just go, go, oh, oh, can we at least dim that? Oh my god, that's really bright. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, never mind. I was sorely mistaken. The light out here is way brighter. Oh, my retinas, they are on fire. Well. Can say this. Nothing looks exactly like I pictured it. Huh.